Good morning. It's no secret that there is much joy in giving. Most people generally delight knowing that their gifts bless others. And last week, we were able to joyfully share how our giving is helping launch new ministries in Antipolo and Pakistan and refurbish a deteriorating hospital in Benguet Mountain Province. This week, I would like to share with you some of the ways your giving has supported the work and ministries of UCM in 2024. The Property Committee is excited to announce that the Children's Ministry and the Library are undergoing a facelift. Both will be updated and remodeled in the next two months. We believe both of these ministries are valuable tools for outreach and discipleship. We will ask you to bear with our mess and closure of the library over the next couple of months as we continue to improve our facilities. The end result, though, will be great. In 2024, the discipleship team hosted monthly Kingdom Men and Women's Fellowships, gave four personal evangelism workshops, offered a workshop on the Apprentice Series, and rolled out the church-wide catalytic discipleship program with UCM's own catalytic discipleship lessons designed and field tested by UCM for UCM. We want all to participate. Kingdom Kids, DCU, and Interface Ministries are all part of what we call the Age and Stage Ministry. We are all delighted to share that all three ministries grew in 2024. Kingdom Kids hosted an immersive Easter prayer journey, had a wonderful kids camp that explored the book of Exodus, hosted a volunteers training workshop, and went on a missions trip to support the children's ministry in Taiwan. UCM hired a new youth pastor to lead Disciples of Christ United this year. Pastor Yang led a variety of on and off campus activities that included youth camp, lock-ins, theme park visit, outreaches, and local outings. He also has connected many new students to the youth program. Interface offered different outings and Bible studies for young adults at UCM. Our outreach ministry launched an exercise program in Legaspi Park, and for the first time in several years, offered a cultural awareness program for expatriates called From Hai to Mabuhai. It included six Filipinos and 25 foreigners. Outreach also gave RedMed seminars, which offered training for medical emergencies and natural disasters. Outreach continues to offer Christianity Explored classes for pre-believers who want to know more about the Christian faith. Finally, Outreach also supports the library ministry. It's one of the few public libraries in the entire nation and houses a collection of over 25,000 books and audio materials. Throughout the year, it's hosted a variety of seminars on homeschooling, medical training, arts programs, and other fun events for children and adults. We are especially proud of our TARDIS on Rada Street, where every week, hundreds stop to give books, take books, drop prayer requests, or just take a look. The UCM Care Ministry supported dozens of UCM families who faced personal hardship and loss. A program called Grief Share was offered for those who have experienced the loss of a loved one. Our care team is always ready to provide counseling, resources, and mental health support. Naturally, the care team has also ensured that we were well fed throughout the year. The International Food Festival, the Agape Meal, and the weekly treats we all enjoyed are always hits. I know I am looking forward to the upcoming Thanksgiving feast hosted at UCM later this month. Our Missions and Benevolence branch of UCM supports over 40 Christian development organizations, ministerial schools, missionaries, and pastors. It supports 127 scholars enrolled in 15 different ministerial schools. Each year, we highlight many of these ministries in our annual Missions Month, where we invite them to come and share their work with our members. Of course, we can't forget the most visible part of UCM. Our worship ministry supports our choir, various worship teams, concerts, online streaming, and provides all the equipment and resources so that we can produce three excellent Sunday services every week. There is so much work that UCM does, and we are only able to do this because of your great generosity. As One Chronicles reminds us, the people rejoiced over the offerings, for they had given freely and wholeheartedly to the Lord. When we think of all that's been done and is, on, and is going to be done, it should cause great rejoicing. Thank you for giving.